Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I'm unboxing my January Petite Kit from the Wild Hair Kits. If you didn't know, I am on their design team, so these kits, kits are sent to me each month. Um, I do go in and put in my style profile, so I get the kit the same way that you guys get the kit, nothing special. Um, and so I will link down below a link to the Wild Hair Kits, and you have your choice of a Petite Kit, which is what I have here today, or a Deluxe Kit. So I have some past unboxing so you can kind of see the difference between a deluxe kit and a petite kit. There's no exact formula because like I, they are handcrafted kits just for you. So if you're not familiar with wild hair kits, what you do is you go on their site, you fill in a style profile based on your likes, dislikes, the products you have coming up is not a subscription service, so you just pop in and order as you need supplies. So maybe you have a big project coming up. Maybe you're starting something new for January. You can jump in and specifically ask for products or give vague colors or things like that, and then the team over there puts together kits just for you. So I have loved every kit that I have gotten, and it's really made it easy for memory documenting and Bible journaling um, just to have all the shopping done for me and everything coordinates. So um, this month was a little bit different. So like I said, I did get a petite kit, so it is a little bit smaller to pull in with my other um, products that I have. And starting in 2019, I will be documenting a project lifestyle um, pocket page type memory keeping. So I will still be doing Bible journaling. I'm still going to dabble in like six by eight um, traditional scrapbooking pages, um, but I'm changing things up a little bit. And so I asked for products that would work with that. Also, my husband and I are going away for our anniversary. Um, probably when you're watching this, we will have just left. So we're going to the beach for our anniversary. So I wanted products that would work with those photos. So it's winter in the central coast, so it's gonna be grays and blues, sand, um, we're going to the aquarium, things like that. So that's really all I told um, Allison over at the Wild Hair Kits and kind of left it up to her. And so I am excited to dive in and see what came in the kit. She says, I hope you love this kit. It feels a bit of a departure, but I based it around a request for blues and grays and pocket page items. I also included some travel themed stickers as well as gorgeous enamel dots and fun new clothes pins. And the January cut file is here too. Enjoy. So, um, I'm curious. I took a little bit of a peek to see what's in here, and it is going to be definitely a departure from most of the kits you've seen me work with. I really love like Maggie Holmes and florals and really girly things, um, but that is not this kit. And so even though it's different, it's gonna be a challenge. I'm excited for the challenge. So let's take a look at everything that comes in here. Um, right off the bat, she did include some um, pocket, cards, which is great since I don't really have a huge stash of these yet. And these are the Project Life Sharp um, kit. And so it's just a few cards from the Sharp collection. We have some four by six. And at first when I, I briefly looked through these, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to use these. These are totally not my colors. I don't do orange. Um, but it's going to be lots of photos of my husband. So manly spreads and the aquarium is going to have lots of vibrant colors. So this is going to work with that. Uh, I just have to embrace the bright colors and, but I think I can do it. So we've got these, um, four by six cards. I'll just quickly go through them. They are front and back. So I can kind of pick and choose, you know, maybe something a little more neutral if I don't want to use, you know, the orange, or you can even cut these apart and kind of piece them together um, and make, you know, kind of a mixed media style if you wanted to. Uh, I did order my filler pages to be different, like, positions for the cards so I can use these vertical ones as well. I believe I haven't gotten those in yet, but I think that those will work as well. But these like the blues and grays will work perfect. Um, and so she kind of had these faced out in the way that she was thinking I would use them, uh, I imagine, for my kit. So like this card isn't necessarily this backside with combs and toothpaste and toothbrushes. It's going to be this side with the blues and grays. Um, you've got this calendar card, but I could use this document this for some journaling. Again, grays, teals, and blues. So she definitely grabbed things that went off of how I filled out my style profile. Um, like I said, I've been with them for a few months, so she knows my style, and so she knows that this is a little bit different, but I'm excited for the challenge. 
Here are the three by four cards. So again, you've got front and back. And so some of these more neutral ones are gonna be a little bit easier for me to use than something like this. But like I said, with aquarium, there's gonna be orange fish, there's gonna be bright things. And so I might surprise myself and use some of the brighter colors um, as well. But you can see she's got these faced to the side that she thinks that I would use. So you've got this gray marble grays and blues and watch it'll end up being super sunny the week that we're there that would be my luck um begin the adventure so yeah so lots and lots of um cards here i kind of flipped through these so they're kind of reversed around some of them so if you look at them this way then you can see the blues and the grays and so i'm a little less intimidated <laughs> Looking at not the front and the back. Sunshine, places to journal, try new things. I will definitely be doing that. So there are a look at those cards. So that'll make it really easy to work on um, those layouts there. Next up, we've got the clothespins she was talking about. And so these are fun for like clipping tags onto things. Um, working in a big album, I can be a little bit chunkier. I wouldn't necessarily use these in my Bible journaling, um, but traditional scrapbooking, I can use these to clip photos, even just add it as like a little detail on there. Um, not necessarily functional, and those are in uh, a deep blue color. So I love, she includes things like paper clips and twine and all kinds of just fun elements that you may not go out and just purchase for yourself, but are fun layering components. The enamel dots, these are from the Adventure Awaits collection from Echo Park. I love these. This kind of earthier tone is more in my comfort zone. So we've got teals and blues and greens and brown. Those are really, really pretty. Uh, I don't know that I asked for, I probably asked for alphas. I ask for alphas every single time because I use them a lot. So there is the fairy tale alphas. They're a deep blue from American Craft. Um, and these are kind of a more whimsical style alpha and there are numbers as well. So this will be great for creating titles. They are thicker, but they're not super, super dimensional. So these would be great for using in your Bible journaling as well. So there are those. There is a 12 by 12 sticker sheet from Simple Stories. This is the Travel Notes collection. So I can use, you know, some of these pieces for our adventure. We're going to be kind of driving around and checking some things out. Uh, and so I won't be able to use everything on this page necessarily, but I will be able to use a lot on here. And it's in the blues and greens and grays and things like that. There are some word fetties, fun like little washi scallops. So I'm excited to kind of incorporate those. This is a little more whimsical feeling than I usually use, but like I said, um, be lots of more manly photos and things like that. So I'm sure that will work. The cut file, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, is the words Fresh Start. So it is a title um, and you can punch this out and it'd be fun to layer some patterned paper behind here. Uh, so I'm excited to kind of play around with this. It is able to be you know, punched out and used. If you get the deluxe kit, she includes the cut file in a 12 by 12 for you. If you get a petite kit, you have to ask for the cut file to be included. Um, normally you just get the code to get online and get access to the cut files. So just heads up there, you would have to ask for it in your petite kit, um, but Fresh Start would be a nice um, title as we begin you know, the new year. Looking at the papers, there are 12 by 12 papers, so I can cut these down into pocket size, use them in my Bible journaling, use them um, for six by eight layouts, whatever I wanna do there. Um, so there's this blue paper here. This is from the Twilight collection from One Canoe Two. And honestly, like I love this. I may save this paper just to use this one at a later date. Um, and it's kind of funny because these were actually the colors I was kind of envisioning when I was thinking about documenting this trip in January. And um, she's intending for me to use this side. So it's kind of funny. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to use this um, in something else, I think, because this paper is absolutely gorgeous. Or maybe I'll cut it down and use um, part of the blue and then save the moths because they are super, super pretty. Um, Allison, if you're watching, I need more of this Twilight collection. <laughs> it's so, so pretty. 
Um, along the way from Jen Hatfield, so blues and yellows and mints with these butterflies. Again, this is kind of more my um, vibe. And then there's this bright blue polka dot on the back. I even love the branding strip with the florals. It's super pretty. There is this um, stripe here. This is the little dude paper from Simple Stories. And I don't know if you can see in the background, it's like a typed paper. Um, instead of white, it's like a typed print in the back. It even has some like detail around the edge. Really, really pretty um, paper. Um, so it's, this is the intended side to be used, but you also have this side here with the banners. So I like that she kind of lays it out in the way that she thinks that you're gonna use it. But again, you have both sides to work with. This is again from Little Dude from Simple Stories. You've got this really bright polka dot, again with that typed print in the background. And then the back side is this fun arrow print. Really cute. So you can see the petite kits are smaller, but you do still get lots of stuff. If I'm only documenting a couple of items, um, this kit would be perfect for that. Um, and so there is a look at everything that came in there. Like I said, you can um, place your order down below. I'll link that down below and it's all customized. So you don't necessarily get the same kit that I have, which I like that you can you know, have it tailored to your style and the projects that you are working on. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Stay tuned. I will have process videos throughout the month um, here on my channel as well as blog posts over at the Wild Hair Kits as I work through this kit so you can kind of see how it comes together. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.